If you like tattoos and you're on the internet, I'm willing to bet that you've gotten ads for ephemeral tattoo. These are real tattoos done by real tattoo artists in a real tattoo studio. The only thing that's different is they have a specially formulated ink that's supposed to fade away in about 9 to 15 months, or so they say. Today, we're getting to the bottom of ephemeral tattoo to see if these tattoos are actually fading away or not. So ephemeral tattoo has been quite the spicy topic online lately. I made a TikTok about my ephemeral tattoo that got a, a, you know, a good amount of views. Okay, it's not like crazy viral, but it's like, it's up there. There's also been allegations of a lawsuit, but mostly people are just upset that these tattoos don't seem to be fading away like they thought that they would. The tattoos are not temporary. People are not, they're not fully fading. And to be honest with you, I thought that this would be almost totally gone and it's been a little over a year now. It fades in nine to 15 months and we're on month number 17. And y'all, it's still here. My ephemeral tat after one year and three months. Now, there's so much sponsored content for ephemeral tattoo online and it can be really hard to sift through their influencer videos. But I'm happy to announce, ladies and gentle people of the internet, this is not an influencer video for ephemeral tattoo. I did get an ephemeral tattoo last year. I made a video about it. I think I actually made two videos about ephemeral tattoo last year. Ephemeral tattoo has not paid me a single thing to talk about them. They did not invite me to get a tattoo by them. I paid for it myself. And we are gonna talk about price later on, but I know you need to know how much this tattoo was. And it was $195 dollar bills. Dollar dollar bills. Speaking of bills, I know I just went on a rant about how this is not sponsored. This video is sponsored, just not by Ephemeral Tattoo. So I would like to take a quick minute to thank the sponsor for today's video, Skillshare. I'm so excited that Skillshare has decided to partner with your girl. A lot of you ask me for tips on how to become a tattoo artist. And really, I have one answer, and it's to practice drawing as much as possible. And Skillshare has endless amounts of really cool drawing classes for people at any creative level. They have tool-specific courses if you love drawing with a pencil, or if you just got Procreate and you don't know where to start. The class Procreate for Beginners, Learn the Basics, and Sell Your Artwork is perfect if you are just getting started with Procreate. I've been taking the class Start Drawing, three fun freeing exercises to spark your creativity by Carly Kuhn. I love this class because Carly puts an emphasis on not trying to create perfect portraits, which has been really amazing for me because I'm always so hard on myself when I'm drawing and I always feel like I have to get everything perfect or I want to throw it away. But this class has been great in order to unlearn some of that. So if you're interested in exploring your creative side, picking up a new hobby, or even creating a new side hustle for yourself, the first 1,000 people to use my link down below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. I really think this is a great platform and I know you will all love it too. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So let's get right back into ephemeral. I posted my video getting my ephemeral tattoo last year on November 17th of 2021. And it's actually kind of weird to watch this video back, mainly because I don't really watch my old videos. I feel like I went through like an AI phase of creating content. But also this video in particular, when I went to ephemeral tattoo, my ex-boyfriend filmed everything for me. So it's just kind of funny to look back on. Not funny haha, funny weird. Anyway, I actually had a really great review of ephemeral and I do stand by that experience. I did have a really good experience getting the tattoo. Their shop is super modern and cool. I love the setup, the snacks. They go the extra mile to make sure you're comfortable and cared for, which unfortunately doesn't always happen in every tattoo studio. In an interview with the New York Times, when Ephemeral Tattoo first came out, they said that more than half of their clientele are getting their first tattoos. So it definitely makes a lot of sense why they put so much emphasis on making this a comfortable experience for people who maybe are a little apprehensive to get a typical tattoo in a typical tattoo studio. And in that same interview, the founders said that while they are keeping their ink formula secret, it is made up of materials that our body can easily break down over time much more easily than normal tattoo ink, which our body is trying to break down all the time. 
And eventually, over a long period of time, your body does sort of break down tattoo ink. And that's why old tattoos look how they do. But the founder said that in comparison to normal tattoo ink, ephemeral tattoo ink is made of smaller particles. So that makes it easier for your body to break the ink down. Or at least that's how it's supposed to work. But now that ephemeral has been around for a little while now, many more people are coming forward with their ephemeral tattoos that they expected to fade much more significantly than they have. A few months ago, Reddit user Babc94 posted a thread on the ephemeral tattoo Reddit page showing the fading progress of their tattoo that doesn't seem to be fading away significantly at all. And here you can see the tattoo at one month, six months, and then 11 months old. And the fading is really not significant at all. And the San Francisco Chronicle actually picked up on this story, and they interviewed the original Reddit poster who goes by Edmonds. So according to the SF Chronicle article, before Edmonds went to their appointment, Ephemeral asked them for like a rough design of what they wanted. So Edmonds drew up this Celtic ring and she thought that a tattoo artist was going to like redraw it. But what ended up happening was one of the Ephemeral staff just kind of cleaned up her sketch and that's what they wanted to tattoo on her. And Edmonds didn't really mind because it was going to be a temporary tattoo anyway. So if she didn't love the design, it's not like it was going to last forever, right? But unfortunately, this thing is still clear as day 11 months later. And now Edmonds is pretty upset about it. And the founders of Ephemeral did see the post on Reddit and they did reach out to Edmonds. And Edmonds said, quote, one of the founders of the company did reach out to me and was very nice. He explained that for some people, it takes longer than the advertised nine to 15 months. That being said, and I said this to him too, their marketing emails make no mention of that. And even if it's a small subset, it should be included in an FAQ or something. Personally, I wanted to see if I could handle the pain of a tattoo without it being permanent just in case I wussed out part way. But I will not be doing this again. It's real tattoos from here on out. The whole experience, even despite the founder reaching out and being very personable, was definitely a negative for me. And I definitely feel for Edmonds, it does suck to have that experience and just hope that this thing is going to go away and it's you happen to be the person that it's not going away on. And it does seem like the tattoo is a significant size on her arm and it's probably something that she can see every day. Like with my ephemeral tattoo, I can't see it. So it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. And it also sucks that Edmonds wasn't even thrilled about the design in the beginning. And I found somewhere on Reddit that she paid anywhere from $200 to $400 for this tattoo. And as you can see, it's just some basic line work. And that's definitely on the expensive side. Like if someone came into our shop wanting to get that tattooed, that would not be anywhere above $130, maybe $150 if it was like pretty big. I mean, it doesn't really need to cost that much money. So I can see why Edmonds is so disappointed with her experience. And Edmonds actually did post an update to her original post. So now we have what the tattoo looks like at 13.5 months old. And you can see that some fading has kind of started on most of the tattoo, but it does, I mean, it's mostly still there. I could see that taking another two years to fade completely, maybe even more than that. This is a bummer. I feel bad for Edmonds. I hope I'm saying that name right. I haven't, I don't even know. Here's another Reddit user. This is CFI Sky, and they posted this picture of their tattoo that is eight months old, and they said that they have experienced no significant fading on it. I mean, it does look a little faded, but eight months in, I can see that lasting as well another year. I don't even know what that is. It looks like some sort of like train. Next, we have Reddit user Lee Face, who posted these two photos of their tattoos. This first one is 1.5 months in, and this next one is 11 months in. Ooh, I mean, this one kind of looked bad from the beginning, and it looks exactly the same at 11 months in, still looks really bad. This is clearly like rose bundle with thorns, maybe? And the thorns are so dark. Oh gosh, it looks really bad. 
And one of the founders of Ephemeral did respond to this fading process and said, it does seem like your fade is a bit slower. Again, rest assured, it will disappear though, because so long as there is water in your body, the ink will break down. That said, I think you're noticing fade variability because you have a combination of bold and thin lines. With tattooing, your skin type is so important in how your tattoos heal and how they look over time and how you take care of them and how much sun exposure, like there's so much variability to how tattoos stay in your skin. But I mean, their whole marketing thing was nine to 15 months. So to just go on and on and tell people like, oh, it's still fading, it's still fading. Like, yeah, it's still fading, but it's a lot longer than they expected. Now that I'm looking at all these examples from Reddit, like I feel bad about complaining about my tattoo because mine has faded significantly compared to these tattoos. So as I'm recording this, it's been 14 months since I got my ephemeral tattoo and it should be almost completely faded and it's nearly completely faded to be fair. I did kind of expect it to be gone already, but I have taken photos of it almost every month to track the fading progress. And as you can see, the bottom kind of faded a lot quicker than the top. And now the top is really the only thing that's holding on. I don't doubt if I waited another like six to nine months, it would probably be completely gone. But also I'm like, do I want to wait that long? I don't know. I've been thinking about getting it covered up. I've been thinking about having Ash do a sword. I think that'd be really cool. So I'm definitely not as disappointed as some of the Reddit users that we were talking about today. And I don't really have much reason to be as disappointed as they do. My tattoo is almost completely gone in the time about that they said it would go away. It really does seem like there's just a huge amount of variability to how different people's skin is taking in this ink. And it seems really difficult to predict that in a time period. And to Edmund's point, I do think that Ephemeral does have a responsibility to make it more clear that your tattoo might not fade away within that about 9 to 15 month mark. And I did look into the claims of a lawsuit against Ephemeral. I think this is just a Facebook page someone made to like stir up some drama around the company. There is no official lawsuit. The founders have said that there is no lawsuit going on, so that is completely false. I posted this TikTok on my Ephemeral tattoo fading process, not as like a super serious TikTok, but it ended up I wouldn't say going viral because that's so cringe to say, but it got a lot of views and a lot of people had a lot of things to say. So let's see what some people had to say in my TikTok. Someone said, yeah, if I still have lead from pencil still in me from grade school, I'm going to pass on this. Someone else said, even if it will eventually fade completely, after like a half a year, you are walking around with a tattoo that just looks badly done. Just get a sticker or ink box and it's cheaper. And if you don't like it, it will fade away faster. Yeah, and that makes a lot of sense. Like if you're going to get a temporary tattoo, just get a temporary tattoo. You don't need to get a tattoo that is temporary. And also a lot of people in my comments were talking about how much advertising they saw for these ephemeral tattoos like a year ago when everyone on tiktok was getting one it seemed like and i think that very aggressive social strategy has kind of put like a bad taste in people's mouths now a year later when a lot of people are having trouble with ephemeral tattoos it has caused some people to claim that ephemeral feels a little scammy I'm not saying that ephemeral tattoo is a scam, but I'm saying that some people, due to those reasons, are saying that it feels like a scam. And I understand where they're coming from. I think it's definitely a, a difficult business model and kind of a difficult time frame to put yourself in. It's definitely expensive. Like I said, I paid $1.95 for my tattoo. Edmund paid anywhere from $200 to $400 for a simple line drawing. Like these are pretty expensive tattoos. And it's kind of just up to you if you think this is worth it. If you asked me a year ago when I got my ephemeral tattoo, I probably would have said, yeah, it is worth it. Maybe I even said that in my video. But looking back a year later, I don't think ephemeral tattoo is worth it at all. Tattoos really don't hurt that bad. If you're worried about getting your first tattoo, I'd recommend getting it anywhere on like your outer arm. So like your outer bicep, your outer forearm, those areas are really not gonna hurt that bad. You're gonna be totally fine. Avoid the wrist, that's gonna hurt. Avoid the neck, 
chest, avoid the inner arms. Those are really sensitive parts of your body that you can maybe work up to over time. If you feel pressured in any way by your tattoo artist or stressed out or nervous or anxious, it's fine to say, you know what, I'm not ready and I'd like to do this another time. You might lose a deposit. Sometimes that's okay. Just do whatever makes you comfortable. There are really good, welcoming, inviting, comfortable tattoo studios out there. And if you're unsure about a design, definitely go to Inkbox and try out different designs on your body. You can try them out wherever you want. You can try them out multiple times. I think Inkbox is actually a really great solution for someone who is kind of unsure about wearing a tattoo design for a long period of time. But that is all I have for you all today. Again, I would just quickly like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Like I said, the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get one free month of Skillshare. Definitely check them out and thank you so much to Skillshare again. But if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you have, leave me this emoji in the comments so that I know that you are a real one. Bye everyone.